Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoes is out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another hair tutorial. As you can see by the title, we got this blonde wig that I went ahead and dyed. Well, I didn't dye it. I went ahead and toned it this little white color because we know you can still kind of see at the top. It's not really showing on camera. It's still a little tiny, tiny, tiny white yellow. But the rest of the hair, as you can see, is white. Y'all know me. I love a white Hand. We're doing this white wig. This is 26 inches and it's very, very full from the root to the tip. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and pluck it. And I'm not going to over pluck it being that it's blonde hair. So we really want to focus behind the hairline and then kind of customize the front just to like, you know. I went ahead and toned this with the Shimmer Light Shampoo and I just took, I did kind of like the watercolor method with a big container and I just let it sit for about two hours, like an hour and a half, two hours. And this is the color I got. So. With that being said, I'm also going to take out the combs on the inside. These three combs, we don't need them, so we're just going to take those off, and then we're going to get to install. So I'm not going to be plucking this wig on camera because the way I pluck it, I just really don't feel like doing that camera angle. But I have so many plucking tutorials on my channel and most of my videos, well not most of my videos, but my videos from a few months ago, I do a lot of like plucking on camera. So if you want to see my plucking technique, it's very much the same. I just pluck on my knee with the towel over my knee instead of on the dome head because I feel like it's a little bit more accurate when you pluck it over your knee. Food for thought, if you didn't know now, you know, it's a little bit more easier. I just feel like you ever feel like you plucked the wig and then as soon as you put it on, it just be like, it don't even look like I plucked it. Like, what, 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 you know? And I don't want it to give that. So I'm going to go ahead and pluck it real quick and then we're going to come right on back. Alright y'all, so I just wanted to point out a few things before I glue this wig down. Well, first of all, I got a clip there. That's why I'm looking a little crazy right now. So, as y'all can see, like I was trying to explain to y'all, the toner, you can tell, really got the back of the hair and not so much the top. Like, the top don't give... It don't give crazy, but I still wanted to get with the back game. But it's like, I gotta still gotta deal with what I got for now but this is why you should always if you've been working on a client or it's a birthday look or something do not take the easy way out go get the toner from the hair store well uh whatever you use go tone that hair make sure it's even because this is not gonna cut it if you working if this if you working on somebody else's wig or whatever the case may be this is not gonna cut it now sometimes it do come out even I would say if you do a bundle by bundle and then put the front two closures separate then of course it should come out even I don't see why it shouldn't but as y'all can see, it's giving a whole different amount of tone. It's looking a little, you know. And then also, I had to cut these two extra pieces off. Not necessarily off, but I wanted to glue them separately because I don't want the middle to wrinkle. Like, lately, I'm not sure why, and I'm trying to figure out why so I can stop it. But sometimes, the way certain wigs fit, it makes my lace wrinkle in the front, and I don't like that. Like, if it don't fit a certain way, it just start wrinkling. So, I'm trying to avoid that. 
but hopefully we could avoid it with doing that so we just gonna see how it come out
right y'all so this is the final look for now I'm, I'm probably gonna take pictures in this hair like pictures pictures in a few days because this is actually hair that I'm wearing for my best friend's birthday weekend so I don't got my makeup on I don't got nothing like that but y'all come on come on this is crazy like this is this is some goat shit this is some goat shit. Like, this looks good. Especially with some good lace. I am so blessed. So, um, the last thing I will be doing, I don't want to do it necessarily on camera, but I'm going to let y'all know if y'all want to do it. I'm going to go in with my even spray, and I'm going to tie my hair down with um, the elastic band. So, I might even shape it a little bit, just literally a little bit, just to give my hairline some type of, like, personality. Even though I don't really don't have to because it looks, like, really good. I don't have to do anything. Um, I just want to put extra security on my lace. So my lace is down. The secure is down. I don't want to pull it too much because I didn't sit under the dryer. So I know it still might not be 100% dry, but it's pretty dry and secure. I'm going to take this. I'm going to sleep with it overnight. And then y'all going to see what it's giving. But uh, by the time I put this video up and edit it, I'm not sure if the pictures will be up yet. But if they are not up... They will be up soon and if they are make sure you go check out my instagram because i know for a fact it's gonna be there let me show y'all let me back up let me show y'all what it's giving so this is how the hair looks boom this is from the front let's go on the back i hope i didn't miss like a flat iron spot that's so annoying and i know it's probably different colors all up in here but it's good though but it's slate though hey like if you like this video comment down below let me know your thoughts on this look and this lace honey and subscribe if you want to see more videos from and i will see you in my next video bye y'all